Hello, you're watching my video review of the HTC Touch for Sprint. This is the phone. Underneath you have a bunch of accessories. And I want to note that it comes with an extra stylus and a touchscreen protector. So I was happy to see that in there. Also, it comes with a half gig micro SD card. It comes with a headphone adapter and it's rather bulky and poorly designed. So I want to mention that also. The first thing you'll notice is that it's a very compact device. It's not much bigger than your typical skinny flip phone. This is similar to a razor here. And it's about the same size. Remarkable considering the capabilities of this device. The other thing is it, it comes with this nice soft touch rubberized plastic. It's very nice to the touch and it doesn't slip. I wish more electronic products would come with this sort of plastic. Up top you've got a power button. On the side here you've got a volume switch, five-way talk, and USB. This turns on the camera but you can program it for other stuff. Uh, here's the two megapixel. It's average quality. You can get to the battery like that quite easily. The micro SD is under here and it's a little bit more difficult to get to. So, being a Windows mobile phone, I could go on and on, but I'd like to try to keep this short. It runs Microsoft Windows Mobile, so you can do all the stuff that it can do, like open up PDF, you can look at PowerPoint, Excel, Word. And there's just a host of third-party software for this, uh, very customizable, and I think that's a very attractive feature. So, one thing that this has unique to it is something called touch flow. The entire touch screen is touch sensitive down here too so if I go like this it brings up their what they call a cube although it really only has three sides to it and you can flip along the three sides like this. This side is fairly useless to me and I would suspect a lot of people because this is their pay service like Sprint TV, Sprint Music on demand and it it's unfortunate that you can't replace these with other programs that you would use, so this is not very customizable. Here you've got something that's fairly useful. Again, they're peddling their software here, but you've got various communication stuff, in Internet Explorer, messaging, etc. This is very useful. Here you can set up your contacts, your most frequently called people, including their picture. If you put them in here, all you have to do is click once to call them and to close the touch just go like that otherwise you need to click contacts and then scroll through the contacts list which is a bit cumbersome you can see that they've tried to make it very touch friendly and it is you can do a lot of things just by touching without pulling out the stylus you can get your weather you can go here and this is the launcher and this you can customize which programs are in here. Thanks for watching my video review of the Sprint Touch.